Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, watchman on the wall in Northern California, still standing with my beautiful wife, Gail said, You are not going to believe this. It has happened again. It's January 15th. 2021 it's 9 53 a.m in that specific standard time you are not going to believe this i was going through my feed this morning and i came across a live stream uh from pastor patrick winfrey um last night it's called vision of what is happening 2021 you are not going to believe this let me check audio Look what God is revealing to us. He has not forgotten us. God will never forget us. It is, it's for this moment right now, Jesus died. Think about that. When we need Jesus the most right now, it's this exact reason that he died and gave us mercy and grace. Have a listen, saints. We are not going to back down. We are not going to grow weary of doing good. We're not going to stop warning. We're not going to stop giving messages and weekend services to come together in fellowship as the bride. We're waiting for Jesus to return, and we're not going to stop working for him until he does return, no matter what any person, human being says. Amen. Amen for Jesus. Pastor Patrick over here, 11 hours ago, he starts talking about Mount Suribachi and Iwo Jima, and I'm listening, and my heart skips a beat, and I pause. Listen. Thin cows is seven good years and seven bad years. So I kept seeing a one fat cow around the first of the year. Well, this morning when I woke up, I had this vision from the Lord. And uh, and those of you guys have been following me for years. And I preached about it even at the revival uh, before Christmas here. About Mount Sarabachi and about Iwo Jima. The, you know, the famous uh, picture that you see in the statue in D.C. is of them. The Marines raising the flag, and that place is called Mount Sarabachi there in Iwo Jima. Well, thank you, man of God. So let's continue. Look, you not remember that picture he's talked about? So we have two men of God on two different parts of the United States, and uh, at times two different, uh, completely continents. I haven't uh, haven't spoke to him in quite a while now uh, on any topic at all. And the Lord leads me to this live stream from 11 hours ago, and he's mentioning Mount Suribachi and Iwo Jima and that picture of the breeds holding up. Well, here's that picture right here. Look. Here it is. See it? This is Mount Suribachi, and those are the, the Marines raising this flag. Now, look, at the title of this video is June 8th, Day 35, Urgent Intercession. Look, Iwo Jima. Mount Suribachi and Jeremiah 15. You are not going to believe this. And what I'm talking about is four empires. Babylonian Empire, Medo-Persian Empire, Greek Empire of Alexander, Roman Empire with other implications to come later, I wrote. With other implications to come later. So have a listen to what I'm saying here. I mean, this is crazy. Do you remember just a couple days ago, the Holy Spirit has instructed me to read Daniel 7 and warn of the strong delusion. Look, this was January 13th. So this was just two days ago where I was instructed to come on here and read Daniel 7. And you know what it's about? It's exactly about this. Listed under the Iwo Jima Mount Suribachi. And I also listened to Jeremiah 15, which just read the last line of Jeremiah 15. There's your encouragement right now. Go read the last line of Jeremiah 15. That is encouragement for the church. So let's have a listen to what I'm saying here. This is important. What are the odds? To him, I can't put it in words. And you know what I'm going through. I know you can hear my little Ruby in the background. Still have my dogs. But God knows. And as I did so, the Holy Spirit uh, presence literally fell down extremely hard in the room. And I'm telling you, I was so thankful I needed it. The Holy Spirit is still here. It's still here to bring us peace. And and, uh, and we can experience the presence of God today still. And I'm thankful. Above all, I'm thankful that we can still lay out before the Lord and feel his presence. Because there's coming a day when we won't be able to do that. And I just need it. I need it with my entire being to 
to even continue in life, I, I have to have his presence in my life. I can't go. <laughs> Did you hear that? There's coming a day where we won't be able to just lay out in his presence. That has to be into tribulation, do you think? So I go on and on and talk. It I'll, keeps my head above water. I'll put a link. He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's my God. And if you don't know him, you're missing out on the greatest experience of your life. You will never have to go through battles alone ever again. Praise you, Jesus. So let's see what this Praise is about. You, Jesus. I'm still listening to Pastor Patrick. This is power. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. We praise Jesus. I want to share what I was shown today in prayer on day 35 and ask others to please pray over it. And if the Holy Spirit reveals anything to you, to, to put it in the comments so we can compile all this. And, See what God's trying to show us about these end days we're in. Mm -hmm. Because this video is from 2016. It's from 2016 about Iwo Jima and Mount Sarabachi. I'm going to skim through here. So in prayer today, when the Holy Spirit dropped, it, first of all, I could, just, I'm could. i going to go back and get in that presence again, but I have to be obedient to God. We must. Obedience. I know so many other people are going through so many other things, you know, but we're all in this together. I'll make a second video today regarding that. Okay, cool. I get a spiritual enemies. I saw these men taking a, a final stand here, is what I remember saying, the final stand. And I was shown, like, this picture. Final in a stand. Vision. In my prayers and so I came here and looked it up and it was a uh, World War II on this island Iwo, Iwo Jima and it was Mar uh, Marines and, and one Navy medic I believe oh, Navy. so I, I google earthed the area and I found it to be right here it what, is, what you're looking at what you're looking at right here that is Mount Suribachi. What I go on to say is that this area is in danger and it was related to war. That, that's, I'll just save you some time. All I said was I'll put a link to this in the description box so you can follow this. But read Jeremiah 15, the last line. Matter of fact, we could go do it right now. And then I heard, and then after I heard this, it was like the Holy Spirit was saying, Paul. Don't you realize that the mystery of lawlessness is already at work? So this is continuing the message. And so I looked it up, and it's Second Thessalonians 2. This is regarding the strong delusion. We're about ready to see some things. We're still here. Many people thought we wouldn't be here in 2021, yet here we are. And we're still searching and seeking out for the truth that is found in the Holy Word of God. In Jesus Christ, it says this, For the mystery of in iniquity doth already work. Only who who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's the restrainer. Stop the restraining. Y'all, please listen. Please heed this word. It has been confirmed by two anointed men of God. I mean, and we're not bragging on ourselves. I'm just, let's listen to this. If, if you don't think we're in serious times, this is Washington, D.C. Listen. Attention. Our curfew is in effect at 18 for the hour until 10 for the hour tomorrow. All individuals must leave the U.S. Capitol grounds or be subject to arrest. I repeat, a curfew is in effect at 18 for the hour until saying there's a curfew from 1800 at 6 p.m. Is this not surreal? So now I'm going to go back and listen to Pastor Patrick's rest of his word on this Mount Suribachi and Iwo Jima because something clearly is happening here. Help me in the comments. 
Vice President Joe Biden calls out the New World Order. Did you hear about this? This video is also from this video is from seven years ago. He also calls out that China. The, in, in this video is a morning message from this channel from seven years ago. Joe Biden says in order for the New World Order that he calls out uh, to exist and function and do what it's supposed to do, that we must allow China to like overrun us. I, I can't believe I found this. Have a listen. This is all flowing in right now, January 15th. Well, in the post-World War II era for decades, they need to be strengthened and some have to be changed. So we have to do what we do best. We have to lead. We have Real to the global point. rules of the road. We have to we have to do it in a way that maximizes benefits for everyone. Because obviously it's overwhelmingly in our interest. This is not a zero sum game. It's overwhelmingly in our interest that China prosper. That he said it's overwhelming in our interest that China prosper. He said that from his mouth seven years ago, and I'm calling him out on it. I still don't know who's getting ready to take place. But either way, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'll be watching it. Mongolia prosper. Listen That's to this, man. Nations big and large, east and west. We have to 